just get enough to go in the stocking. And every year I say, no problem, absolutely. I will only get enough to go in the stocking. Do you want to see how much I have to go in these two regular size stockings? <laughs> Instantly. 
stocking. They know which stocking is theirs. So there's no confusion as to who, what it belongs to whom. I mean, it's very obvious. So I'll be doing that after they go to bed in a little bit. Um, oh, and I have this one Cadbury candy that you can find it at Christmas. And then again, I think it, I think again at Easter they do something. They do a similar, it's the same thing, but it has like an Easter theme to it. I love these. This bag is aggressively crinkly. It is um, these little chocolate, they're candy coated chocolates, little mini snowballs. There is something magical about the chocolate in these things. Oh my word, it's so good. It's almost, um, it has a very interesting texture. It's almost like fudge in a way, but it's a very good and very rich. I can't eat many of these at a time, but I love them. And I really only ever get them at Christmas. Sometimes I'll get a bag at Easter, but really Christmas is the time. When I when I think of these, I think of Christmas time. So, oh my gosh, they're so incredibly good. Wow. I mean, I know people say American chocolate is garbage, but I'm not sure where this stuff is made. I think it's made in the USA. I have had German chocolate, Belgian chocolate, da-da-da-da-da. I have. And it is very good. This is, it ranks right up there, I'm telling you. There is something special about this stuff right here. It's not like your average, everyday Hershey bar. It's really good. I love it. Oh, there's even a recipe on the back to make Cadbury no-bake holiday fudge. Interesting. But it doesn't seem to. I think you just put these on top. But I'm not worried about making anything. I just want to eat these. Whatever you got going on. I hope you have a fantastic 